Hello, everybody. What's up? Okay, good, good. That's kind of like my thing. I hope I would say hello, everybody. I don't know what the Good to turn out, but I'm going to do it again. Hello, everybody. Hello. There we go. Good, good. Okay. So uh, I'm going to do two pieces today. And um, this first one I'm going to do, when I did it the first time two years ago, people were actually surprised by the things that I said. So um, here we go. Here's my favorite piece, or one of my favorite pieces, sorry. This is Blood on the Leaves. Whenever people ask where I'm from, I proudly say, I'm Dominican. And then they all look at me like I'm wearing some Medusa-inspired headpiece. Why is it so hard to believe that my family roots grow from Dominican trees where the food is amazing and the culture is eye-opening? Oh, that's right. My skin is too pale, my eyes are almost green, my hair isn't as curly as the other girls are used to seeing. My point is never proven until I open my mouth to speak and Dominican lingo escapes from my lips. Vimeno. That's when the mouth wide open looks turn into nods of approval or even on the dance floor when my hips move to the sounds of Anthony Santo Ruiz Vargas and of course, El Torito. History has taught us that if you're Dominican, your skin has to be the color of the cafe con leche you drink in the morning and your eyes as brown as the tree trunks that serenade the streets of the campo your mother grew up in. The next time someone remarks the color of my skin, I will probably boast that yes, I'm in fact Dominican. I'll tell them I'm white because God drew me this way and he wanted people to think of the beach whenever they looked at me. Skin is pale as the sand that burns your feet and eyes the color of the sun as it swims over the water. <laughs> Bet y'all didn't think that was gonna happen, did you? For those of you who don't know me, because for those of you who do, y'all know. <laughs> All right, um, this next piece, actually, um, this, I'm going to take Henny's words out of her mouth for a second. This piece is my baby. This piece has taken me so far. I performed in Brooklyn because of this piece. Um, amazing experience. I loved it so much. Some people in this room right now have been on stage accompanying me when I do this piece at the sesh. 